Hello friends. Okay, this is experiment day. Basically what I'm going to do is some tissue layering. But I have all these piles of scraps of tissues and I have these piles of scraps of fabrics and frankly they're getting on my nerves. So I'm just going to, to uh, do some tissue layering with it. But something a little different that I'm going to do, what you see here is my freezer paper that I do tissue layering on, and I have painted on it. And I am willing to bet that when we get all done and the tissue paper has dried, when we peel it up and turn it over, this design will be on the back. So that's kind of the experiment part today. I haven't done this, it's just an idea I had. So let's get started and make, do some tissue layering. <music> Trust them more than not And you aim your pretty thoughts Like arrows in my heart If they meant as much as I hoped I would trust them more than not I would trust them more than not
Okay, well there it is. And that is a lot of layering of tissue papers, rice papers, bits of fabric. Uh, and when you uh, saw me put the fabric down, you saw me spray it with some water. It just helps to keep it nice and moist. You can either take the fabric and dip it in water and squeeze it out and lay it down or just use your spray bottle. And Mod Podge, a diluted Mod Podge is what I use on all my work. So there's layer, layer, layer. I didn't even use everything up. I have this much fabric left and this much paper. So I did a pretty good job. I didn't want to to start losing it, so I decided it was time to stop. So I'm going to let this dry, and we'll come back and see what it looks like. Okay, so here is my dried um, tissue layering with the fabrics and tissues. And remember that I put down paint on the freezer paper as an experiment to see if it would transfer. And guess what? It's all gone. It's here. Isn't that awesome? Let's zoom in a little, get a little better look, but you can see where it came out in the back of the tissue. I have more plans for this little process. Have fun!